Under normal circumstances, a human embryo contains two sex chromosomes, one from the mother and one from the father. If the embryo receives an X chromosome from its mother and an X chromosome from its father, the baby will emerge as female. If the embryo receives an X chromosome from its mother and a Y chromosome from its father, the baby will emerge as male. By popular belief, it's not the Y chromosome itself that determines the gender of an embryo. It's only a small segment of the chromosome, called the sex-determining region Y, or SRY gene, that determines whether or not an embryo will develop testes. Remember how I said at the beginning of the video that under normal circumstances, an embryo with two X chromosomes is female, and an embryo with an X chromosome and a Y chromosome is male? Well, that's not the truth in all cases. To put it plainly, if the SRY gene is present in an embryo, it will stimulate the development of the male reproductive system. If the SRY gene is absent, the embryo will instead develop as female. It just so happens that this gene can be misplaced onto an X chromosome, resulting in a male embryo with two X chromosomes. This is called XX male syndrome, and individuals with this condition are phenotypically male. The term phenotype refers to the observable traits of an organism. The same thing can happen in reverse. With Flyer syndrome, an individual has one X chromosome and one Y chromosome, but the subject is phenotypically female because the Y chromosome lacks an SRY gene, or the gene is present but non-functioning. Note that there are other mutations or genetic disorders that can cause chromosomal abnormalities. The term aneuploidy, for example, refers to a type of chromosomal abnormality in which a cell is either missing or has extra copies of a chromosome. In the case of trisomy, a female can have three X chromosomes and a male two X chromosomes and one Y chromosome, or two Y chromosomes and one X chromosome. Even rarer is tetrasomy, the presence of four sex chromosomes as opposed to the regular two. In females, there's even a syndrome called pentasomy X, in which the individual has five X chromosomes. As expected, individuals affected with this condition typically suffer from serious health defects.